A team of researchers has gone sea to help keep tabs on the impacts of climate change. As Cathy McLeish reports, they're measuring Australia's ocean currents as part of a worldwide study. These scientists are helping track the world's ocean currents. It's critical work because the oceans are the heat storer of the atmosphere and the climate. Dr Bernadette Sloyan is heading the team measuring one of Australia's major currents as part of a long-term global project to understand the impact on climate. They've just retrieved and redeployed six large moorings equipped with state-of-the-art sensors. Anchored at depths ranging from 500 metres to 4 kilometres, they're spread across the East Australian current. Every second, the massive movement of water shifts the equivalent of 10,000 Olympic swimming pools south, from the tropics to the southern seas. And as it goes south, it slowly releases all the heat it's stored, so that impacts our climate and our weather on the coast, but it also impacts all of the marine ecosystems. Scientists already know the Tasman Sea has increased by two degrees in temperature, making it the most rapidly changing ocean region in the world. This research will help them understand why. When we put that all together, we can get a very coherent, clear picture of what's happening to the world's oceans. And that makes it clear that the oceans are warming up and that most of the extra heat that's being stored by the planet is actually found in the oceans. Steve Rintoul heads the CSIRO's Marine and Atmospheric Research. He says the international study is critical. It's a tough challenge and it's a great success that they've been um, able to do as much work as they have during this voyage. The scientists will now analyse the data collected and prepare for the next redeployment in 18 months. Cathy McLeish, ABC News.